There's a walleye. <laughs> Number three, Samuel Chubby Darter packed with maggots fishing Leech Lake out here for perch. This guy decided to come by and uh, play with my bait. Matt Johnson here with Matt Johnson Outdoors. Some of the things that uh, we do with Matt Johnson Outdoors, granted my name's Matt Johnson, so it's obviously in the title, I'm gonna be part of the business. And what I do, I'm, I'm a fishing guide year round. I really enjoy promoting the aspect of, you book me, you're gonna get a seminar. You're gonna get a one-on-one -on -one seminar, a one-on-two, a one-on-three seminar. And I try to cater to your ability and cater to what you wanna know as far as the skill set. You wanna learn about plastics, you wanna learn about running electronics, you wanna learn how to run a trolling motor. Whatever the time of year, we'll cater to your needs and I really truly enjoy doing it. Uh, my background in college isn't just communications, it's education as well, so I really enjoy that aspect of fishing and seeing people catch fish. It's important, outside of that, I run a winter fishing league. Uh, it's called the Ultimate Panfish League and basically what it consists of is four events, one a month starting December, ending in March. We actually just had our last event for the 2011-2012 season just a couple days ago. And what it is is people, the anglers fish for sun fishing crappies. It's 25 teams, two man, two person teams. And they weigh their heaviest limit of fish. Uh, basically 15 fish total, eight of one, seven of another, your choice. And they keep points. It's a big, big on camaraderie. You know, the people that fish in this league, a lot of them pre-fish together. And they have fun as fishermen as and as human beings, you know, to where they look at it. I mean, a lot of the tournaments out there right now, uh, as well set up as they are, it's very competitive and I'm trying to grab a different atmosphere to where we can have the competitive edge. Yes, they're fishing for money, they're fishing for prizes, but I'd like to say at the end of the day that when we're done, we have grill, we grill out, you know, we have uh, sodas, we talk, we have a good time afterwards and many of these anglers go out and fish with each other even after the event. So Ultimate Panfish League is something I think pretty unique. It's in the metro area of Minnesota. I've had a big demand to move outward. I have uh, one gentleman that has started the Ultimate Panfish League down in Rochester, and I actually believe it or not have a gentleman that is out in Vermont that started an Ultimate Panfish League of the East. So it has granted some national publicity, and you know we try to keep it fun and make it pretty entertaining. So like I said, myself, I try to just educate. I try to focus heavily on educating. I got two young boys, one's four, one's one. Uh, obviously my four-year-old's coming up into the ranks, and I'm trying to really get him involved in the sport. Hopefully he enjoys it. If he doesn't, he doesn't. But I try to just promote the aspect of let's make this fun. Let's make it exciting. Uh, Mr. Zanenko has said it himself as far as, you know, the importance of ice fishing, the importance of our future in ice fishing is to bring up our youth. You know, Corey Beck told you today, a good friend of mine, he's got kids that he has done a wonderful job getting them involved in the sport of fishing. And that's, that's the name of the game. I mean, if our young era dies off, guess what? We don't have fishing. We don't have events like this. We don't do certain things that we enjoy doing. So, you know, hopefully, you know, my efforts, as long as with other people I work with, can really advance the sport of ice fishing and just fishing in general. So, you know, I appreciate you having me out here. This is a lot of fun. Again, uh, you know, check it out, mattjohnsonoutdoors.com is the website. And if you have any questions, I answer a lot of emails, answer a lot of phone calls, just answering fishing questions in general. So, I'm not afraid to talk fishing. So, uh, don't be afraid to hit me up if you have any questions. Yeah, let's move it. Yeah, buddy.